Hello, Rose here. Welcome back to the fourth season of Sudar Fight Competition. And today, the D11 BOK15 by Dunda92 will battle my HC Dory Mark IV D1, which I still not can believe is in the finals. And well, today, it is the closest battle you've ever seen. Not because the plane uses 50 cals, not because the rifle plane suffers from overall, but because these are just two damn good planes. And boy, do I have quite the fight for you. It took an hour, and maybe the outcome can be a bit controversial. But anyway, it is time to go to Jordan. And now that you know who's going to be in the final, well, Chances are you already knew if, so if you've seen the last episode, which well, it, it took an hour and two minutes, didn't it? Apologies for that. I guess I got a little bit carried away with uh, wanting to see my Idori either go through to the finals or lose in the semi finals. What are you doing there, mate? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is safe to say. That my commentary is going to sound very different today. I am genuinely nervous. I am genuinely nervous, although I I think the DU11 is going to win it. I am genuinely nervous because you don't know anything until you've seen it. At least that's how I have always tended to view things. So I have also been especially cautious to set up the craft right, not cause any controversy, because if my plane wins, and my plane wins because of an apparent failure of me uh, setting up the craft right, of course it'll look like I've done some match fixing there. Which I do totally not want to be accused of if I've won the competition. Chances are though that I'm taking this way too seriously. <laughs> uh, but I can't help but do that. I, I really can't help but do that. But yeah, as I said, you'll only know who wins if we actually run the competition. Which, the first round is going to start right now. Oh boy, it's the finals. CFC Season 4 coming to an end. It took a while, didn't it? It really did take a while. I'm oh, sorry, but... I couldn't put my hand up. It's all because of me. I... I just delayed the craft reviewing process way too much. And I genuinely apologize for that. Have another, now is not the time for apologies. Now is the time for excitement, hype, and mainly the truth coming out, if you'd like to call it that. Because today we'll, have, we'll find out who wins the fourth season of the Sky Fighter competition. It is the craft turning, it is the beginning of the final fight. Or at least the final match of the Sudar fighting competition. I'm just hyping this up way too much for myself. Well, we are closing on each other. Soon the guns will fire, and indeed they do. The door fires at Gauss. And also those weapons coming in. And as usual, there are no hits. No hits at all during the first encounter. As in how the crucial phase comes of turning on each other. But seeing if they'll get into a head on again, or if they can truly devastate each other this time. However, it looks like it is going to be a head on for our first non initial encounter encounter, which uh, if that, I hope that makes sense. And it's actually one of the door is now behind one of the DU11s that couldn't. Quite uh, killed the Doi the first time round there. The other uh, DU11, DU11 swingman helping it out. 
hoping to catch victory there. However, here come the gauss of this <laughs> Midori helping its teammate out. Will be able to score a hit? Well, we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out soon. One comes for sure. Now there's a DU11 behind and it lit up the Midori for a while there. And it allowed the other DU11 to escape away from the wrath of the Idori Gao cannons. <laughs> the Idori just trying to devastate the DU11, the DU11 trying to devastate the Idori, of course. However, this actually looks like a close match, which I didn't expect. Oh, the bullets are coming so close to that DU11. However, still no hits as the Idori aim proves to be not that great today. Another burst and another round of no hits. Will the DU11 perform better? Or in fact, will the Adori's wingman prove to be better? Well, it certainly does look like it's being attacked from the DU11 right now, so it doesn't really have time to bother with its wingman. Although the, the, the Adori coming back onto one of the Adori, one of the D11s. D11s putting quite a lot of hits in there to the Idori. Uh, surely the next couple of hits will mean that something explodes. Uh, it's oh so close here. It's oh so close for those bullets to actually hit. The other D11 is also on the back of the this Idori swingman there. Right, it is close though. It is very close. I am happy to see that it's close. However, it won't remain close for long. If the Idori has to fare you know, on with that damage, has to go on with that damage and has to possibly nurse the damage as uh, the D11s have more of a chance now and they really do have more of a chance as more of the Idori blows up. However, it is also some D11 blowing up here. Wow, <laughs> this isn't going to... <laughs> this isn't going to stop without a very, very close fight, isn't it? The door is spilling its guts out here. <laughs> uh, yeah, the lovely advantage of attaching everything to one cubic of the angles to front everyone. <laughs> uh, it's fun, the 11 train taking damage, a little bit of damage. However, it is the door possibly with the most amount of damage in this competition as it struggles to pull up. It's going to pull up in time. Yes, it does. Narrowly. I mean that the door still stand a little bit of a chance because again that D11 took a little bit of damage. However, I do think that the 92's aircraft are a little bit more survivable than the Adori. The Adori trying something, trying to get on the back of the D11. However, its center of list is horribly messed up compared to its uh, center of mass. It's going to be proved quite difficult for this Hidori to mean anything besides being bait to the other D11s. To the D11s, and uh, well, I don't think that there's going to be a very, very bright future for this one. Although, if that D11, if that Hidori snipe is going to say anything, we have a chance. <laughs> and again, the Hidori is just scraping. Scraping the surface. Yeah, this D11 isn't going to mean much for its, for its teammate. This D11 though is fine. Let's uh, jump on board with the healthy Dory. See what it can do. Well, it can do something against the already basically dead D11. Which means that it gets blown up a little bit and has to fare the damage. It lost one of its four crucial maneuvering. <laughs> Back maneuvering uh, winglets here. Then, as you know, the other Dory can't mean much here. So, it will be possibly a close fought victory for the DU11. And that is simply because the DU11's uh, wingman had an ability to be bait. Although, can it turn back here? It can't. I have seen, though, the Dory's wingman coming back into the fight. And it is now the DU11 <laughs> being jumped by both the Dories. Oh boy. Can this be a 1-0 for the Dories? 
I hope it does. I hope it means one new for new toys. The T11 has taken a little bit of damage. I think it's a little bit of hit, but no damage. That's what I meant, I'm sorry. It has to uh, endure the Dory attacks here and see its opportunity. As there it sees an opportunity. And it does really have to take it in the 2v1. It has to take every opportunity it gets in the 2v1. It really, really does. Because if you don't take every opportunity, you really, really do have an issue. That might possibly be the damage you doing there. As I don't think that the damage you doing has all its uh, bullets and its really. Those, however, are running close to. are running <laughs> really, really close to running out of fuel here. Will that matter? I, I honestly think it does. I honestly think it will matter, and it will matter in the uh, disadvantage of the one of the Adoris on the back of the U11 trying something. I feel the U11 trying to eliminate one of the Adoris. I think that is into the ground. And there it goes. It's into the ground. Was that the able Adori? No, it wasn't. It was the disabled Adori. Okay then. The Adori still stands a chance. However, it has to hope that it can finish off the D11 in this burst. Because as we have seen, maneuverability is on the D11 side here. And it surely is now with that damaged winglet, that uh, winglet gone. As the D11 gets on the back of the Adori. As I said, the D11 is being more maneuverable. I just, I just have to admit that. He is, he is just better compared to the better craft designer. However, will that matter? Will I be able to pull out, to pull out an underdog story here? Or will I probably fail? That is still the question. Still the question remains on our mind. However, if the will ever put out of fuel, I can, with a Dundon 92 competitor, Running out of fuel in a very, very crucial match against the door. Well, boy, can't say that I'm surprised. However, the door is close to running out of fuel here. The last bits of fuel draining, and it is quite possibly lower than a DU11. Now it's simply a competition of who has the best glide rate, and maybe even. Dory can fire some crucial hits on, on the DU11 now that the DU11 can't really maneuver anymore. One thing is for sure though the battle is decided by the sea. I am now very tempted to call this the battle of the sea in this episode. However, with quietness ensuing on the two loudest craft in the entire competition, it looks it looks like the uh, DU11 has lost its ability to lift uh, the aircraft up in the air, and as it goes down to less than 100 meters, it looks to be the competitor losing out, and it looks to be the Idori winning it narrowly on fuel. It is then the 1 0 advantage for the Idori. However, it had the benefit of the camera. Will it fare as well? Or maybe even better? When the camera isn't on its side, will that underroll that I've been talking about this entire season? Finally kill it! Because for God's sake... Don't say that this very crucial flaw in my entry... Is not going to play its part in this very, very close battle. In fact, maybe even if the roll rate on the Idori had been fine, had been cool, had been uh, awesome in fact... Maybe then the Dory could have won it. 
and chest. That means that I'm still skeptical about the Adori winning, despite it taking the first victory. Now to start the competition once again. I can't say that I've been so hyped to see one of my own competitions before. And I can't say that any commentary job besides today has been more difficult for me. I, I must admit, I'm going to go crazy if the Dory wins this. And I'm, I maybe will even break down crying when the deal never takes this. Oh boy. <laughs> One thing's for sure, now the competition starts. The D11 and the Adori going at it again for the second match of today. Will the D11 win or will it bottle it? That is the question. As the guns do fire. And as they will try to damage each other in the initial encounter. But always, always they fail. Always they fail. And that is so, so disappointing. However, the DU11s and the Adorus are turning once again for another encounter. And another joust and another head on. See if maybe this time they can damage each other. Which would he don't get close there? You know, this come, this come closer. However, that uh, Itori Swingman did let the DO11 on its tail. And is thus vulnerable to being hit. And I haven't seen anything, I haven't heard anything, so I assume that it's. Uh, it is fine, it is good, and it is not hit yet. Ah. Well then, we'll have to see from this outsider, D11, how this battle refer simply by explosions. The Adori escapes. The Adoris, both Adoris escape the wrath of D11 for now. However, will they be able to escape it for long enough? Will this head-on matter? No, it won't. Of course it won't, head-ons never matter. However, if this Adori can deal D11 before it, the D11 wants head on, which it can't. It got close again, it got, it got very close, but it couldn't nail it. It couldn't nail it. Well, then, one of the door is now free of uh, any combat duties, taking a little bit of uh, vacation, a little bit of a breather there. However, they're both thrones, so you don't need a breather. As this D11 has chosen. Uh, the Idori taking a little bit of vacation there as its target and firing, the, firing those organs. However, it couldn't quite couldn't quite manage to get a hit. As the Idori now face again an effect of 2v1 here. Or for the effect of 2v1 has once again uh, stopped there. This D11 trying its best to get. A hit on the Adori. However, the Adori will try its best to get a hit on the D11 too. That is just a rule of thumb in this competition. Will few matter again? I think it will. Well, one thing's for sure. Oh, it's a hit from the Adori. That's that's for sure. And it's more hits on the other D11. The Adori flying well in this part of the competition. However, the U11s once again have their sights set. The Doris, they won't go get away with this for long. They surely won't. And there, there was a hit sound. There wasn't any damage done yet, but there was a hit sound. And thus that means that, yes, the Dory is not getting away with this. The Dory is not getting away with this with a simple, simple win. As the cows on the Dory just keep on hitting, but do not keep on damaging. Uh, 
Then the D11 again assaulting the Dory as if America hasn't won the Second World War from Japan yet. <laughs> I had to make that analogy there in my sources. The Vulcans firing on the Dory. Well, it hits. Ah, it, it doesn't seem to matter. Can it throttle down enough to keep on the back of the Dory? Yes, it can, but only by a slight bit. As a maneuver is on the back of the Dory once again. Yes, indeed, it can maintain its advantage. However, it just seems to have a little bit of that uh, lead. <sighs> not the not say it's advantage here. As the Dory it in fact well in this barrage of the uh, <laughs> left and fire. Maybe even ammo counter. Ah, uh, it's man. This craft can't seem to hit. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Come on, guys. Just do something that means I can protect. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, that is the toy damage. However, this door is on the back of the U11. On the back of the U11. On the back of the on the back of the back of the U11. Me. And then, oh, ah, it's getting, it's the Hidori getting torn up here. As I said, it won't get away with that initial damage easily. It'll have to survive the Eye of the Tiger. No, it has to survive the hits. And I know that the titanic song won't get me here no i know that the Dory can't survive this damage i know that it is just basically on boy gonna count it out here ah it's just again more damage it's just engine after engine control services control services and wing after wing getting ripped off the Dory. and slowly but surely will have to face defeat for the first time in this episode. However, I've said this before in the episode, and when I said that, it did not matter, and the Idoi only just snatched the victory from the Jaws of Defeat. Let's see how it... Ooh! That is already a DU-11 running out, and my guess is that some of the fuel tanks got shut off. No, it didn't! It just used a lot and a lot of more afterburner than the this the eleven. Oh. Well, that's one Idor Idor cloud. That's one the eleven coming out of on fuel, and that's one Idor coming out on damage as the Idor crashes here. It is once again an effective one on one. However, the du eleven's teammate can function as bait and can actually mean something here if it can if it lands the element. Which is God, quite sad for him. I thought I saw some poofs there. However, there is no damage on that. That's a plane. And you see other DU-11 closing on the Idori as the Idori focuses on eliminating a basically dead Idori. As the Idori focuses on eliminating a dead Idori. I'm so sorry. As the Idori fo focuses on eliminating a basically dead DU-11. However, it will have to acknowledge the threat of the Dundon 9, 9 11. Wow. Dundon 11. Dundon then. I am so messing this up today. DU 11, yes. It will have to acknowledge the threat of the DU 11 coming in. However, it's a head on. Ah, ah, I think it scored some hits there. No damage, but it did score some hits. I think it did score some hits. Uh, it, it has the advantage on this DU11, will that initial damage matter? Oh, nearly uh, nearly made a collision! Please, just guys! You still have one effective plane in this competition. Don't risk losing this battle on the mid air collision. Don't! Don't do that! Oh, uh, lighting up! Is the DU11 and running out of fuel is the DU11 and we're still with a 3D 
silly bit of you. Is he doing? However, uh, as does the ammo all basically running out there, the fuel runs out on the doy, the fuel runs out on both the do left and so by the way this one actually ran out of ammo too. She did this. This is dare I say it, this is the most competitive the most competitive battle I've ever witnessed. This is the closest, most competitive battle I have ever witnessed. And it's the Adori once again taking it on fuel because... Just look at that sweet, sweet attitude. Those sweet little lies. No, the sweet little attitudes. However, uh, it is the D11 here basically being on the same attitude. I was looking at the wrong D11 there. However, now that it has calmed down a little bit, I can... Uh, Look at the D11 and see what the damage is. Here it is just one your control surface, at least I think it's your. It's actually your roll control surface. Blown off. And the other one. I can't spy any damage. It is 2, 6. Yeah, it has 8 engines. For what I know, it has 8 engines. Let me just double check. Yeah, I think it has 8 engines by default. So, um, that isn't the damage. Uh, let's just compare. See, com see and compare. Ah, it is the bottom air intake, isn't it? Yep, it's the bottom air intake on this TU11 car. Okay. Yeah, now that I know that, I'm very, very satisfied. Ah, this, uh, this, the U11 is on the better attitude here. In the higher attitude, one might say. This one is actually faring quite a while. So it's lasting a long, long while before uh, it eventually crashes into the ground. But boy, I am pretty proud of myself to say that this is a close match. I am so proud of myself. See that this is such such a close match between the two. I mean, a final battle should have a final match that is so so close. But damn, did I not expect it because it was my plane. It's actually quite funny here. The uh, the U11 without ammo. A jousting with a, with an out of fuel, nearly out of ammo doy. Oh, it it also wasted all of the ammo. Of course it did. Well, at least uh, all that weight isn't going to hamper you with uh, the crashings. At least with the impending crash, because this is the doy crashing first. I am also confident that this is the doy crawl. Yeah, this is the doy crashing first. It is so near to its doom. And it is so near to a 1 1 for the D11 again on fuel. However, it is just. Uh, this battle is just proving that uh, it doesn't really matter that if you run out of fuel. However, it does matter if your opponent also runs out of fuel. And I'm going to have to watch that replay. Or I can use the F3 screen if I need. Debris crashing to the curb and small. Okay, um, I was so focused on my commentary that I couldn't see which one crashed first. However, for the sake of uh, acknowledging my opponent's awesome. Awesome battle. I'm giving it to the DU11. I said I was going to be controversial, but damn it, I'll be controversial in my uh, <coughs> in my disadvantage. I'll be controversial against myself. I'll be hampering myself if I'm going to be controversial. 
because it's her dad, this is my competition and I don't want to be, I don't want to look weird and dumb. Simply by acknowledging my bias and saying that the Adore one has one. Well then, I'm going to have to correct that Adore wobble here. Again, well, I, I can actually, huh. Maybe it was the Adore, Adore wobble at the start mattering the most. However, it is time to start the third battle. Again, as I said, damn it, have I never seen a competition so close? Damn it, have I never seen it? Have I never seen a competition this close? However, I still haven't watched the uh, PFC episode that was uploaded like, what, 10 hours ago? Now? Uh, at the time of recording? I still haven't seen that, so I don't know if that's going to be a very close battle. One thing for sure though, these close battles are damn, damn tasty. They really are. Well, third match. Some hoped it's to be over by now, because that mean a 3 0 win for either. However, it is not. But quite possibly. We'll have to go on to the fifth match. One if, one thing if this. Wow, I am really messing up today. One thing is for sure though. It is the Itori and the D11 coming into head on from the guns right here now. And again, seeing who has the most fuel and the most attitude when they run out of fuel. As the first to. Uh, matches have proved that that is basically the thing that ties this uh, entire match together. Nidori uh, turning away the 11, I don't know why. I don't know why. And turning back on the 11 is going to be another add-on. However, that the 11 hasn't quite seen this story. Doesn't matter though. It is... The head on's now over and the DO11 is now on the back of one Edori. However, they have failed to acknowledge the threat of the other Edori. And thus, the menacing Gauss will fire. <laughs> there it goes. The Gauss fire on the DO11 and the Vulcans fire on the Edori. As once again, this just proves to be that that goes for much. It is fire, fire all around. You'd say that this is Trump's office, but it isn't quite. It is, uh, it is CFC. For the people that have not known that before, it is a competition at its finest. It is oh so close. It is so close that you can swear that this is not made by someone who is a very who is very much a fan of Formula 1. <laughs> I will squeeze my Formula 1 references in my episodes, damn it. <laughs> well then the Doi on the back of the DU11. It can't quite it can't quite get a shut off yet on the uh, closest most the 11 and it is the teammates that with them actually still threatening that uh, the U11, not this the U11, but the U11 swing now, now this going to get oh so lovely and it's <laughs> just like from the wonders. Ah, although there goes Idori Gao Fire. No, it's actually, yes, yeah, it's Idori Gao Fire, however, it's on, on the other the U11. Uh, it, it is. It is just oh so lovely in close. This, this is what I want to see in a fight. This is why I smashed Fan Cherry so much in the second season of Zadar Fighting Competition. Because, damn, have I never seen so close of a battle in my own competition. And damn, do I love me some close battles. Then do I love me some unpredictable winners. And as it stands, it's very unpredictable. 
Ah, uh, it is lighting up, it is hit something door, and there's the first damage. I believe that was an engine. No, it was of course wing surface, because every time I think it's an engine in the door, it is wing surface. That's just the general rule of Hidori. That is now officially going to be recognized as the rule of Hidori in Star Front competition. If you are not <coughs> if you do not agree, please send your inquiry to the comment section. <laughs> I I uh, I, you can definitely tell that I am so cheered up. You can definitely tell that I'm so hyped up. And you can definitely tell that it is so close between the D11s and the Edoris. However, it won't be so close if you do that. Edori, yeah, that's going to the ground. And that is because it's lack of roll. That is the first, first battle that is going to be clear. And clearly in the advantage of the DU-11, and it was the roll rate playing its part in it. Turns out Royals was right all along, wasn't he? Although that on the DU-11 is quite the ways away from this Hidori. He is however now already uh, seeing it as a threat and throwing on it. If it means that the older DU-11 can get on the Hidori. It is quite honestly only a matter of time before this Hidori gets annihilated by the DU-11. Unless of course they just run out of fuel. That would be very very shaming, wouldn't it? However, <coughs> that would tell a story about the, the, the night two planes in the semi-finals and finals. Uh, However, yeah, the Dory is just standing its ground, it is proving why it's in the finals, and it is still making this close despite it being a 2v1. It is putting all the effort in, trying to win. However, now both of the demons can get on its back. However, that's a lovely move by the Itori, and that, I swear, that was a that collision. I swear it was a midair collision. However, I didn't see any moves and I didn't hear any explosions, so I will assume that it wasn't a midair collision. <laughs> I'm just dumbfounded about the fact that this Hidori hasn't quite been grounded yet. Maybe it can again let the fuel do the work. No, I mean, not if you're gonna get hit by Vulcan fire, but maybe if you can last a little bit longer here. Yeah, you're definitely not going to let fuel matter here. Definitely not. <coughs> yeah, yeah, this 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 can only be at the U11 victory unless they screw up massively. You so afterburners only, and the door goes very much after from its fuel. It's the Dundon uh, 11s, which quite honestly, the U, the U of course stands for Dundon. Uh, the London 11s taking a victory that for the first time hasn't been decided on fuel. At least that is what I'm assuming right now. That is what it's looking like, and that's what I'm assuming, that's what I'll be assuming this entire time alone until I have been proven otherwise. I mean, yeah, it, it could actually be the. No, this is going to go to the ground, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, that's one of the DU-11s running out of fuel. I saw that happening from a mile away. And currently, on the bars, it is the door with a slight bit of a fuel advantage. However, it has to dodge the uh, DU-11. And it it comes the strategy of spinning means that I won't be able to get hit. <laughs> that that strategy is exclusively reserved to the Mew, Midori. Okay? I mean I get that you're from the same family as the Mew, but that strategy is exclusively reserved to the Mew. Please accept that. And well it is going to be the D11 only. Going on another pass on the Dory. On the back of the DU-11, nearly hit it, however not quite. That could be because it has a wee bit of damage. Uh, it, it, 
it's out of it's out of ammo. That's it, it's out of ammo. And the eleven is out of fuel. <laughs> Come on guys! Can't you just decide a match in the in the normal way? <laughs> Please? I mean I, I get that this is that is very this means that it's very close and all. But god damn it, can't you just decide the match in a conventional way? <laughs> yes. Guys, man! What even? What even is this final episode? What even is this final episode? Guys! Guys, what in the actual fuck? Oh no, demonetization! Yes, I know YouTube. I don't care about your demonetization. I don't earn any money off my channel anyway. <laughs> okay, then, this is the excellent time. This is the most excellent time to, uh, for me to take a drink. Which, uh, which gets me talking on the topic of. Um, I'm actually trying to switch slowly to water instead of uh, this lovely, lovely sugar juice that I'm um, drinking right now. Because, quite honestly, it is bad for my health. Not only my health, it is possibly bad for my psychology. And if it is, I'm really noticing that in the past few months. However, uh, this is another channel to uh, complain about your psychological state. That's Boogie2988. Take that hit, please. And uh, fans, please take that hit, too. Wow. Well, I bet that that one, that one surface, yeah, this, this one swing surface has been blown off. <coughs> Pretty much meant that the door is into the ground way quicker. Than the DU11. It's either very unfortunate to me that battles get decided in this way rather than um, on actual merit and on actual guns and on actual fuel. And on, well, on actual guns and on actual survivability and durability because. I mean, guys. Can, can you please just. The sight is on anything else but the uh, fact that you're so, that uh, one of you is uh, worse at stumbling into the ground than the other. After uh, it lo they lose their fuel. I mean, yeah, this is the door coming down uh, sooner here. Ahem. <coughs> Yeah, this, it's the Dory landed, and it's a 2-1 for the D-11s that are now also landing. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing, and since these are um, <coughs> drones, you can always walk away from them. There goes the other Dory. Well, the other Dory. Wow, the other D-11. Well. With a 2-1 advantage, it is the DU11 looking to wrap its win up against the Dory in this uh, final match. The Dory can come back, I know, but... Much you've seen there. Eventually, any damage is going to be proving fatal. Or at least round losing for the Dory. And that is simply not a trait that the DU 11s have adopted from its design. I reckon that the uh, weight on the DU 11 means that it's better at gliding, it's better at maintaining its lift at low speeds, and thus it's better at uh, winning this competition when its fuel runs out. Especially if the Dory can't get to a height of phone. Well then, 
It's time to fight. What you get? 17 to 11 seconds. Did he enjoy his antic to the right of the sky? If you'll see one more binary collision before the season ends. And if the 11 can take home a win, can win the competition from me, which quite honestly it should. I'm, I'm going to be very honest, it should win. And that is because I acknowledge that I'm a king shit plane designer. At least up until the Adori I was, but apparently. Because I did make it into the finals. And I did say that I was going to be very, very proud of me making it into the finals. Well, coming close to each other, and they are in fire they must. And into the bits they must go. E I E I E I O. No, they won't. Of course they won't go into the bits. This isn't a free one race. But this is, however, it's a fight to the electronic death. Because again, these are drones. Now the door is focusing on our 1D11 from what I can see here. Yeah. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it definitely was this one. Now for that back, Idori now can uh, take advantage of the Idori, of, of the Idori, well, of the TO11 turning its back against the Idori. Now this TO11 can take advantage of the Idori turning its back towards TO11. As I said, it's a very, very close match. I quite honestly don't know how. I don't, I, I don't know how the door is doing this competition. I don't know how that was in the middle. That was in the collision. I think those were hits, but hits on the door. Other than on the DO level, which means that yes, the door bullets can come close, but damn it, your gun span is very important. Not just your gun caliber and your gun, gun of choice. Because, well, I chose the Gaway because uh, that had funny, funny plan. <laughs> funny plan. No, I seriously did. I didn't consider it quite to be the competitive entry until I flew it for the first time. Right, this is going to be my joke entry until I flew it for the first time. I was actually counting on the charm, and I know, I know. That that was that's very surprising. Ah, uh, is that even coming back? Are you coming back? And back on the doy. They just get oh so close to each other every time, don't they? Well, obviously because well, there's isn't a currently in the plane, so you're not risking your life. And these drones are obviously in universe being programmed to uh, not risk any lives unless they are forced to. <coughs> Still, ab absolutely no damage done to any of the entries here. In what could possibly be the final match? Come on, guys, stop doing the head ons. Because the head ons are only going to run you out of fuel. And I know. And that means that if you run out of fuel and ammo, you're not able to fight, and if you're not able to fight, you're not able to secure victory, and if you're not able to secure victory, you have an issue. <coughs> then this DU11 protecting the wingman, and the wingman actually being able to get behind the Edori. Or not. And yeah, this is just waiting. <laughs> it, it is, I mean, that is also something that I think about close battles. I really do enjoy close battles, but uh, they don't have, if, if they last for too long, or if they happen too frequently, close battles aren't fun anymore. Which I'm noticing with my emotional state right now, they aren't fun anymore. Although it also could be because the door, because uh, the DO11 can win. Also, be because of that. 
Just why? How? How do you think getting close, so oh so close to your enemy is going to solve anything? Well, it is going to solve anything in terms of aiming issues, which the Dory proved right there. And by uh, doing negative damage to uh, the D11. However, the D11 is more survivable than the Dory. We have seen this this entire season and this entire episode. Who is more explosions? However, was that for the Dory? Was that for the D11? I don't know. However, looking at the stability of that D11, I'm going to guess that it's a D11. It was the Dory. It was neither sustained fatal damage, apparently. See, guys. Oh, well, uh, I think. No, yeah, the entire bottom end here. The entire bottom end of England is gone. Are gone. That affects uh, roll and draw rate. And that could, that could prove crucial. I think it can only prove crucial if the enemies can land hits. Which uh, I, f I thought I saw them land hits there. Uh, it is the U11 here, so it gives a little bit of stability because of the damage, and it is more hits. Something exploded there, I don't quite see what. Something exploded there, maybe this was going to hurt the maneuverability and stability of this D11 even more. It just has to nurse the damage. And we do know that the D11s are good at nursing some damage. However, we, are, we don't know if they are good at nursing all the damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's missing two engines. And that explains everything pretty much. It explains why this is um, maneuvering so good on the Dory. However, that doesn't matter if you are constantly being pounded by it. And it's running out of fuel because of it. And it's, yeah, it, this one's constantly just, just losing bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and it wasn't an engine. Ah, it is just suffering from a slight bit of the underpowered right now, isn't it? Is compared to the Dory. And of course, the center of mass and center of lift are now uh, horribly uh, compromised because of the fact that there's so much damage on it, and it's also just running out of fuel here. Let's see uh, the damage state on the Adoys. By the way, still, sip on, sip, still sipping on my drink. <laughs> little bit of damage, a little bit. No, a little bit of hits on the Adoy. Let's check in with the damage. Which has just run out of fuel on uh, a part of the engines, as here. And it is run out of fuel on the other ones. And this one is also very close. Fuel. This is this is the this has been the battle with the least amount of damage and just the least amount of excitement. Isn't it? This, by the way, still has all eight of its engines in it. It's, it's just a little bit compromised in the yaw and uh, the roll. But it's just uh, having a little bit of surface. However, it did take damage. And it's very close to run of fuel. And there it goes. Both have now run of fuel. And the doors are very close. At least this story is. And we all know what's uh, happening. What's going to happen here? It's an Adori victory. I saw a poof. I didn't see a poof. I I think I did. I did not see a poof. Yeah, both the doors faltering and falling into the ground. Over here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's, it still has all its engines. All its eleven engines. Hey, so that, I always thought it was 12, but it's 11. Dummy. Yeah, it's a gun fire all the crashing into the ground, the U11s.
prepare as well they go to the ground and die horribly of a horrible, horrible death. Of horrible deathness. And this still has a little bit of ammo. And this has run out of ammo. Which explains why it can't mount an attack. Now if it's not run out of fuel, and that's going to prove very, very crucial here. Very crucial here. I... Very horrible punch. Ha! <laughs> These two planes are battling with each other with uh, no fuel at all. That yeah, the, this door is being slowly decimated by the. Body. This is this is Yeah, it's just very slowly getting torn apart. However, this is uh, a slight bit too late for the uh, elephants. This should have happened when uh, you still had fuel at eleven. Of the DU kind. Ah, uh, this this one's just running into the ground. Uh, this one's running into the ground. This one has just run out of just come to run into the ground. And it is simply the question of oh, who will stay in the air for the longest. And I think it's going to be this DU11. While both the Dories have fought the better battle and run out of ran out of fuel. On the last. However, to maintain my uh, consistency in the rules, I have to count out the <coughs> the team that has run into the ground first. It shall probably mean that the the U11 wins here. On field. And simply having more wing service. However, all can still change. We have not yet run into the ground. Is the door actually gaining attitude? Not anymore. I'm gonna try to um, gain attitude here. Probably. That's probably the first DU-11 into the ocean. Oh, that's actually the Dory. <laughs> I thought it was DU-11, but it was the Dory. And that's the first DU-11 into the ground. Lower left. Here in the screen. These really do take it a lot of time before they land. And they ha it has landed. Houston, the 11 has landed, and now the simple advantage of the DU-11 is, is that it's over ocean, and thus is into the ground. Thus the ground elevation is higher, thus it crashed into the ground last. I mean it's also now higher than as the Dory. <laughs> but man, guys. For the last battle, could you have please not decided it on fuel? Well, that is the Dory landed and that right here is the 11 just crashed. And with these four matches, it is a free one for the uh, U11. However, if you want to draw your own conclusion and you think that the U11 should be counted out first and should have lost to the Adori because it constantly ran out of fuel first, that's fine with me. But uh, the way I have conducted this pretty much same scenario in the first episode of the uh, Starfighter competition, season 4, uh, which was by waiting until they crashed into the ocean means that the DU-11 has won and it has won in a very very boring manner although yeah fair enough it has 
it has one because it, it's the better design. But it has one because it's the better design because it glides better and it's lighter. And the DU and the DHE Dory uh, Mark IV D1 was built with me not looking at weight, not looking at the amount of wing surface surfaces. I was just building a plane and seeing if it could be competitive. Which well made it to the finals and lost 3 1 to the DU 11. Which is fair enough. I won't go on for any longer about this because this has once again probably taken an hour. <laughs> and it, that's just four matches. Oh boy. Well, then it is time to listen to Bureaucratic Boys Pop once more. And it is time to wait for a little bit for before season, uh, season 5 rules are announced. And in the meantime, if you want to know anything about the rules, anything about CFC, I recommend you go to my Discord linked in the description and I, go, I recommend you go to my second channel linked in the end cards in the body of the Royals person. But yeah, that has been it. That has been the Sedora Fight Competition Season 4 and it has once again wa been won by something by someone that is not me. And as I said, here is Bureaucratic with Boys Pop.